Go follow me on Instagram at Eli underscore soul underscore Cray. I might just follow you back. So go follow me right now. Also, go subscribe to my mom's channel, Patricia Belton, and do the same exact thing. Thank you. Yeah, man. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and my mom. Follow my mom on all of her social media. Also, go subscribe to my mom. So you can add her on Facebook. You could send her a DM. And also, if you really want to, I've left her phone number on screen now so you could call her and check in on her. More than I am. Giving your mum a YouTube channel is probably one of the weirdest trends I have ever seen. But for some reason, every YouTuber is doing it nowadays. I made your channel. I made your channel. And you call yourself a queen. And you call yourself a queen. Everyone knows she's just salty. Because I'm richer at 16. <laughs> Apparently, you got to share your hobby with the entire family. When your parents said, Oh, what are you interested in so we could go do something? They meant kick a football around. Maybe go watch a movie together. Not daily vlog. Hello, team mob, and welcome back to another video. Just imagine your mum doing challenge videos. Oversharing everything going on in your family's personal life onto the internet every single day. Maybe a divorce video. Selling their own clothing line with it on. Imagine your mum opening up a Patreon due to demonetization so she could feed you and your family. Even worse, what if your parents ended up like Jake and Logan Paul's parents? His mum just grabbed his balls in a comedy skit. And then she slapped his ass. No! She's twerking in front of her son for the for the vlog. Well, it looks good on my Don't camera. Don't forget, I'm naked once again. <laughs> Jesus, this is bad. She's vlogging with him naked. He's not wearing any clothes. And she's documenting it for the internet. Uh, I'm no longer naked. That would be weird. Yes, that would be really weird right now. Oh, fuck me. Don't. Please stop, guys. Oh, I hate the pools. Oh, it freaks me out. This is not right. Families are dysfunctional enough. This is not a part of it that needs to be added on top of that. Now, you may think that parents picking up the camera and starting vlogging is a totally fine thing to do if you do, you're a freak. But if you do think that that's an ordinary thing, you know, because parents are allowed to use YouTube, it's open for everyone. It's... It shouldn't be, though. It's not the parents who suddenly think at the age of, I don't know, 55 going into retirement, they want to start vlogging their daily life as they enter the care home. It's their children who realise that instead of making a second channel where you just vlog your really awful life, you could give your parents a channel, run that, and make so much money off that instead. We've seen it with Comedy Shorts Gamer and KSI in the fact that involving your parents in videos is something that apparently people love and rakes in millions and millions of views. And if people love it so much, why don't you give it a YouTube channel? Because they're your parents is, is the answer. That's why you don't do it. But, but Because giving them creative control seems like a horrific idea. But they don't have creative control. And a prime example of that is a YouTuber by the name of Morgs. Now, Morgs would put his mum in a bunch of his videos in the attempts to clickbait something when he didn't have anything outrageous to come up with. And he went so far into creating her her own YouTube channel. Now, some of these videos on this channel are absolutely incredible. We've got, I spent the night in Morg's bedroom and he had no idea. With Morg's making out with his girlfriend, presumably um, going very far with it, and his mum under the bed pulling a surprised face. Surprising my family with a $100,000 dream car. Hey, kids at home, do your family not surprise you with dream cars? Well, Morg's does. Morgz's family do that all the time. They've got loads of money and are rich, and you should tune in and watch it and cry about how terrible your parents are. Destroying Morgz's PS4 and buying him a hundred new ones. Surprising Morgz with a newer thousand dollar Fortnite. Mum surprises kid with a thousand dollar mystery box. You may see there's a bit of a trend there, and that money always seems to end up in the thumbnail and title. That's because Morgz is trying to go, look at my situation, 
aren't you jealous of me? And that's how he's managed to build his entire channel, off having things that normal kids can't get. And there's nothing wrong with that. You could showcase stuff you own. If you do it in a humble way, if you don't do it in a way to be like, or you should watch me because you'll never be as cool as I am. Which is basically what daily vlogging has turned into. And Jake and Logan Paul pioneered that, and also pioneered sexual acts with your parents. Which brings me on to my favourite Morgz's mum videos that she has ever made on the platform. I really enjoyed the video where she calls Morgz's girlfriend a slut. That one was, um... Very, very funny. Actually, no, scratch that. i just seen it again. The one where his mum had sex with him when he was 12. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's the one <laughs> that I personally prefer. Now, the video where she spends the night in Moggs' bedroom um, accumulated 14 million views in three weeks. And she now has over 1 million subscribers. She is, in fact, more subscribed than I am. So that's a reminder, please subscribe if you're watching. Turn notifications on, because... It's kind of embarrassing. So we're going to dive into this video and um, see what it entails. I need to get back at Morgan. I need to get into his hotel room and stay there overnight. Now Morgan knows. Oh, that was great searching there from Morgan. Just slightly tap around this place where your mum quite obviously is. Doesn't it weird you out that she's doing like a YouTuber voice? Morgan is in a hotel room, and I need to break in. They're having sex on the bed. They're fucking. My son's fucking his girlfriend, and I put it on my YouTube channel in the intro. I wonder if the parents even know what Morgan is posting on there. I don't even know if they realise that this goes into it, or if he just gives them the paycheck at the end of the month and goes, there you go, mum, here's a million dollars. Because I'd frankly be embarrassed. Beyond embarrassed. This has 40 million views. Everybody must surely know that this is what you do to make money. But normally, the reason why parents don't have a problem with this is because they like to live through their children, through the YouTubers who are children, and pretend that they are as famous as them via them. So they will happily take these YouTube channels and they will happily do these crazy things for fame because they didn't achieve it when they were younger. And now they could do it via the use of their YouTube superstar child. I didn't expect to catch Morgs doing this. You surely must have. Have you seen his have you seen his thumbnails? Have you seen his girlfriends? Thumb have you seen your own thumbnails? I'm pretty sure at this point you just walk in on them doing this every day but it's not real it's not real that's that's why it's all fake hello team mob and welcome back to another video hello jill how are you what's going on can you not talk to me like that it's really off-putting honestly it's really freaking me out she has an actual intro she has an actual youtube intro that's what has happened that's what youtube has done to families Everyone in the family now has their own YouTube intro. So, because everybody thinks it's a good idea to get their parents involved in their channel, I've got my mum on the phone now to say something to you guys. Subscribe to I'm Alex. There you go. Thank you very much, mum. Appreciated. Guys, so Morgan's been in the other room for about 15 minutes now, and Kira's going to be coming home in a bit. So that's when the challenge is going to get a lot harder. I'm really worried about this, but I think I've made a bit of a mistake. I forgot to go to the toilet for a wee before I came. Isn't it weird that like this is vlogging now with your parents that they just overshare everything? Imagine your parents doing this. I would be mortified. But then they've made 150 grand off this video, so I'd also be really rich. Now, the way I see it is, if you want your parents so badly to be YouTubers, then they're going to be treated like YouTubers. And by that, I mean I'm going to create a stan account on Twitter for Morgz's mum. Well, we need a name. Uh, I love Morgz. We'll use an email instead. Uh, I love Morgz's mum at Gmail. Com. Oh, well, we got to pick interest, so Morgs and then Mum. 
Now, before we do anything, let's go and find Morgz's mum on Twitter and give her the follow button. And then we have Morgz there and his dad. So we followed all three of them. Now we have the trio. Well, we need a profile picture. So this image of Morgz's mum looks perfect. Well, before we finish doing the profile picture, I feel like we should give them a bio. So let's say I stand at... Jill. <laughs> I stand at Big Jill. And then we'll pick one of the many love heart emojis that we have available to us. Location under Morg's bed. But last but not least, let's add a profile picture. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's fantastic. It is fantastic. And we'll save the changes. Perfect. Let's send out my first tweet. I love you. Esk, 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 esk. At Big Jill uh, Hudson. Well, I finally think that we've given the parents of YouTube the equal treatment that they deserve. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And as my mum said, subscribe if you need. Turn notifications on. It would be greatly appreciated. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. To my mom. Peace out, people, and have a good day.